Hello and welcome back to Into the Breach. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've found my horse and uh, we'll see if we can manage to get a saddle on him and hopefully climb back on top. Because I was, I was bucked from the horse in the last episode and uh, not only that, but the horse ran off to Toledo uh, to get as far away from me as possible. Um, understandably, because uh, there were a lot of mistakes in that episode, and not all of them were in the tactical side. Uh, we actually, uh, I, I addressed this at the last of the previous episode, um, or at the end of the previous episode, rather, but uh, we did neglect to put the repair drop on anybody, which was kind of pretty much a moot point. But the, uh, the reactor core that I spent so much of my hard-earned corporate reputation on is kind of just hanging here, not doing anything. And... What I think I want to do is put the uh, reactor core on this guy. Now, I don't know if this would have helped either, but, you know, you really have to build on your uh, on your max here. You really have to get them uh, kitted out because we're kind of a little bit behind the curve here, I think, as far as damage goes, because we're starting to see some pretty hefty, uh, heavily, you know, fortified HP wise insects and I just don't have the damage output so what I'm thinking about doing is installing this uh, last reactor core on this guy and then getting the plus two damage so that we can at least pretend like we have a chance uh, this is the uh, the best damage upgrade by the way so if we look at these guys um, you know only the uh, the combat mech or is that, is that right yeah, the combat mech and the artillery mech have the plus two damage option. And I would like to put it on this guy, but, you know, I think for him, prioritizing dash is the better call. Uh, and for this guy, you know, since we already have cores invested into this particular mech, I think we, it's the, the good, the, the best choice here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to get ourselves plus two damage. And then we'll see what happens. Um, since he's got all the damage, I feel like I want to put this on him. And, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I definitely see myself using the smoke drop in every in every uh, match. I don't see myself using the repair drop in every match. And I think it's fine on him because he should be punching stuff anyways. And on the off chance that... Um, The off chance that uh, this guy can't actually reach anybody to punch them, <laughs> then he can do a repair drop, I guess. Uh, I don't know if this is like, it doesn't really show you if it's if it's just across the entire map, everybody gets it, or if you have to be within range, but well, I guess we'll find out. So we're off to the Dust Bowl. We still want to go here for the reactor core. You know, I'm still shooting for the moon, even though I'm not sure <laughs> how this is going to work, but the Dust Bowl. Uh, Vex threat detected, bonus objectives, block Vex spawning three times, that really sucks. Protect the coal plant. I think we can protect the coal plant, and we can definitely block Vex spawning, uh, especially with this guy, because he has five hit points now. Uh, the lightning storm, though, we don't really know what's going on there. So, one of our weather turbines has reported a Vex attack. We can't afford to lose the turbine, but where are the storms in the area? They are out of our control. Well, you know, obviously. I mean, I know it's the future and all, but I don't think... Controlling the weather is, uh, you know, yeah, an easy task. Oh, that's it. Let's get into it. All right. Immediately we have uh, a couple of new guys. So the beetle we saw in the last round, uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but he can charge. So he can literally just walk over here and then charge this building, I think, if I understand that correctly. I think we want to put the artillery on this access here so that he has uh, free range he now we have to be careful because he no longer has four movement uh like he did in the last episode so sad face uh again we have to be conscious of these guys can't actually move that far but we have to be conscious of the sand tiles there's one here and i was thinking maybe they would yeah there's no way anybody's getting to that sand tile there's no way anybody's even getting close to us on this turn. These guys are probably going to spread out. They usually like to spread out and hit as many. Where can you go? You can't reach anybody over there. So I, I think they'll probably spread out over here. So far, I've been wrong. Every time I've been, you know, thinking to myself, hmm, I think they're going to do this. They never they never really do it. So 
Who knows what's actually going to happen. But I think we're going to put this guy here. And this is a tough one because the uh, we've got like a split going on here. Which is terrible. I hate these maps because it usually means the guy you need on this side is going to be on this side and vice versa. But um, I think we'll be okay if you know we do something like like this i guess because you know we can move through each other you know that's not a problem as long as there aren't any you know bugs up here i think we'll be okay now one thing that we haven't had to contend with here is uh flying vec which is you know pretty good because vec flying vec obviously have tons of of movement speed and they can get around the map pretty quickly but these guys are really slow and i think that's okay um depending on what happens with this guy we might have to use artillery on him, which is why I'm kind of keeping my options open with him. I don't think we're going to need to go here. Or if we do, you know, I'd rather be have access to this tile. Because we could potentially move him out of the way. With a silly charge attack. These guys, though, I'm not sure about. Because we're not going to be able to kill him. This guy has so many. Alpha Firefly. Yeah. And of course, he does, like, infinite damage. Infinite damage! Um, this is really going to be dependent on what these guys do. So. I don't know. I almost wonder if I should put him over here. Uh, it's not really going to work. See, the problem is many, many problems. <laughs> the problem is many. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to leave it like this. We'll play it by ear. And let's just see. Yeah, we've got decent range of movement. It would be nice, I guess, to be able... Eh, no, we'll move him up if we need to. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We'll give this a shot. I'm trying not to make these episodes like 14 hours long while I consider every single possible permutation. But, you know. Oh my god, they all did exactly what I expected them to. That is amazing. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we've got problems. We, we have problems, my friend. We have problems. Um... Oh, boy. Yep. I needed him over here. Who knew? Oh, man. The first round... I haven't even started, and I've already made a mistake. Uh, also, there's no way we're stopping these guys from spawning. So, that's just the thing that's not going to happen. Five hit points. Man, if only he had one less hit point. I could maybe... Make something happen here. Oh, man. Oh, there's just... Mm. I really don't want to have to smoke already. This guy has a lot of hit points. Yeah, there's just... <clears throat> I mean, the problem is, is I can't intercept his attack because it's just going to kill me. Just going to kill me. And he has just enough hit points to not be killed by this guy. And he can't make it far enough to finish the job. Although I would need him to smoke anyways, right? I mean, that might be the move, right? We, um... We kill this guy with the combined effort of these two mechs, and then we smoke bomb these guys. I guess. Lightning will strike here, killing any unit? Man, why couldn't I get you over there? 
Is there any way that I could... No, there's no way. There's no way because I, I put him in the wrong spot. I could get him over there quite easily, but not this guy. Lightning strikes, why don't you work in my favor? Uh, let's see. Oh, lightning strikes will happen first, which is good, but... That is, that is bad. This guy being right here is the worst possible spot that he could be in. Just, you know, savvy of the computer, I guess. Man, I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He only does one damage. But there's no way that I can get him into a spot that would... Alright, so... If I move him here, I shoot this guy, that's going to take two damage off of him. And I move him here, I drop artillery on his head, that kills him, and it moves this guy over here. And then I basically just tank this guy's damage and punch him in the face. I can finish him off next turn. Uh, I can't get him over here at all, so that's not an option. I also can't prevent these guys from spawning. Why didn't you guys spawn here instead? I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So, what is that? Where does that leave us? Put this guy here. And then we put this guy here. And we'll take care of these two guys. And then I guess we just take this guy here. Now, if I punched him from the side, that would do three damage, like I said before. Just enough hit points <laughs> for me to not be able to use the strategy. The good news is we'll have the biggest guy taken down and another guy pretty pretty low. But yeah, I don't know. Who do we want the kill for? This guy needs the kill, so maybe I'll shoot with this guy first. That upgrade. See, this is why we needed that damage, and I'm immediately happy that I got it. So Yes, gotta level up. You've proven yourself in the field. But, oh, I didn't get the rest of that. I was trying to pronounce this person's name, but I have no idea. Ty? Ty Fairy? We're, we're going to call him Ty. All right, so this guy's taken care of. Um, really, we just have to punch this guy, I guess. That's it. That's all there is to it. Let's take some damage. Not, uh, not ideal, but... Rarely ever is. Bonk. This is a different kind of buff, isn't it? Passive effect. All of their vec will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Okay. So he doesn't actually buff their health. He just... Interesting. Okay, so... This guy I can kill straight away, so that's not a problem. I'm just wondering what I can do here. So if I kill this guy outright, this guy will bounce into this guy, and they'll both take one damage. That's not going to be enough, though. No, but he'll explode, dealing one damage. Then I can go over here and shoot him. 
on top of this. I'm assuming that's how that works, right? If I punch this guy, he'll go back one and explode, which would be fine. Right? Yeah, I think that's how that works. So that should be fine. Um, the only problem is, is I'll definitely kill both of these guys, but I still won't be able to block spawning. Spawning happens last, right? Yeah. That would take all of my turns. And this guy would be down to one hit point, so... I think that's probably a good call, right? quite a combo. Let's start with this guy. Do a little bit of a punch. Okay, that's good. He doesn't need X XP anymore, but it's not like I have any choice in the matter. Alright, so we'll kill this guy. Do damage. To both of these guys. Look at that. Oh, his attack is cancelled. Can I take advantage of that at all? Not really, because he's dead. <laughs> he's dead! Mm. I mean, I'm thinking about moving him back, right? Consolidating on our position. There's just no way I can stop these guys from... Hmm. It's too bad I can't... Oh, if I moved here, that would be that would be bad. That would be very bad. Would it also be bad to move him too far back? Yeah, I don't know. Depends on what pops up out of here. This guy is so far away from everything, though. That could be a problem. I definitely don't want him surviving though, so... I mean, this this is actually a pretty good passive for me, because... Given how much knockback I have, it's pretty rare that these guys would die next to me. Unless I did something really dumb. Just not out of the... I mean, <laughs> given the last episode, I wouldn't put it past me. I think we'll put him here, tentatively, because we can still move back if we need to, but I want to just be able to maneuver around here. Alright, let's do it. I haven't used our reset yet, so that's good. Not that it helped us at all in the last episode. Alright. Where are you guys going? So this guy can't actually do anything. Is this an alpha? Yep, it sure is, which means it has like 42 million hit points, and it probably does 3 damage. Oh my god. Oh my god! He's not attacking. He can't attack. I mean, I get it. It's fine. I can't move. Oh wait, no. 1, 2, 3. I could? Okay. Wait a minute. There's no way that I can... Uh. <laughs> well, if I shoot him into this, right? Because we don't really care about this guy. So we can actually kill him with the artillery, and that's fine. And then he can go here. He can shoot this guy into the mountain, which will do two damage. And then this guy can't really attack him because he'll die immediately, so that's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're going to have to take the damage, though. Oh my god, and I can't attack him? Oh, that's that's bad. What's going to happen here? Yep, the environment. He's... Ugh. If only the environment would have happened after he charged. What an amazing. There's no way we're going to be able to stop <laughs> three guys from spawning because I don't think any more 
think we've already lost that objective, so I guess it doesn't matter. I think these are the last two that spawn. Um... Well, I can repair, right? Top him off, and then he'll take the three damage. Um, and then I think I still want to kill this guy and then get him around to do damage to this guy at least. Or do we just want to kill this thing? I don't know. He doesn't do anything, right? Like, he can't attack. So, I feel like I just don't really care. And then he's not... Yeah. Silly. Although, that might have changed my strategy. Oh, no, that, that would have worked, but it, it actually wasn't. Sorry. I, uh, okay. Um, alright, let's, let's kill this guy. Let's move him here. And, uh, oh, you know what? Could I cancel his attack? Might be an option, actually. And then I don't have to get punched in the f or headbutted in the face. I'm gonna be okay with that. Yep, it sure did work exactly as I anticipated. I think I'm gonna have to move this guy up. And then maybe I'll repair him, because I can't actually get in range to do anything, so. Alright. It's not terrible. Would have liked to have done damage to him, but there's only one turn left, so. It's not super necessary. Ah. This is a problem. This is a problem. All right, so here's what we got to do. We got to punch this guy. We've got to drop this guy can't do anything. I'm supposed to kill this guy and get some XP. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to punch this guy out of the way. And then we're going to have to move him here and move him out of the line of fire. Because he will just die. And then this guy can just do whatever he wants. This guy can do whatever he wants. This guy, I think I'll just kill with this guy. With the old tankaroo. And then... Uh, this guy out of the way. Put this guy here and probably destroy that mountain. And then call it good. Of course, he's now next to the power plant, but. Alright, well, that was a little bit better than last time. Um, we still failed at this. That one's tough. I, I really don't know how you're supposed to do that one. Vec reaching the surface means crops were destroyed. My people will die. Not from the Vec, but from starvation. Well, you know, lady, look. <laughs> I get it. Oh, he gets an extra move for that. That's good. That's very good. Alright, well... High threat detected. Well, I guess I kind of saw that coming, but... Defend the Earth... The Earth Mover. Kill at least seven enemies. Protect... Protect the Robotics Lab. I think for sure we'll be able to protect the Robotics Lab. Kill at least seven enemies. Probably ain't gonna happen. Even with the upgraded damage, we're still not doing nearly as well as we should be. And then defend the Earth... Earth... earth <laughs> words. Defend Grammar. 
and enunciation. Defend the Earth Mover. That's gonna be our next stop. And then there's only one more, right? This is, looks like an easy one. Although seismic activity, I wonder what that entails in the context of this game. Protect the emergency batteries. All right, so uh, Ty leveled up. So you have, what, plus one mech move, so that's good. I think that'll help us. Uh, movement is always amazing. Like, yeah, it sucked that we didn't have the one move to, to pull off the perfect turn, um, but this by far helped much, much more than that extra move would have because we were able to actually kill things, which is which is a very important thing to do. So, all right. Uh, yeah, we had a, a little bit better of an episode that time and, uh, you know, slowly getting back towards uh, equilibrium here. We're still down on the power grid, so... No matter what happens with the rift, we're going to either have to do this or this. And if I can't get any... I mean, I'm just I'm just sucking here. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. If I can't get um, any stars out of this, we might have to go here just so we can at least get one. Um, it, it's kind of like that thing where we're going to start falling behind and we're not going to have enough. Uh, it's a similar feature in FTL. Um, you know, if you don't if you don't get enough uh, of a head start on the upgrades, you might start falling behind and not being able to... to take out the later sectors i think that's what's going to happen here but we will uh we'll keep a positive attitude and uh we'll see what happens next time anyways thanks so much for watching and join me next time